Hey guys, so this is very important to me. I've been going through life not completely knowing something and I finally figured it out and it's a big deal. You know, it's not just something to throw around out there and you know, be like, hey, this is what I know now. So I guess, you know, I'm doing these vlogs and I wanna be honest with you guys and I wanna tell you guys stuff and uh, yeah, so I might as well just, you know, tell you guys that I finally figured out how to make the best smoothie I've ever had in my life. It took me 26 years. 26 years, let's go make a smoothie. All right, you guys, look, I'm not kidding around. If you don't want to be serious, exit out of this video, because I'm coming at you with the best smoothie that you've ever had, too. So this is the thing with smoothies, right? It's one of those things. It's like when you go to a restaurant, right? And you order you order something, and you're like, oh, man, like, you know, I always got to get this, because I, I can never make it that good. Like spaghetti and meatballs, espressos, baked macaroni and cheese, those potatoes, those loaded potatoes. How do you make that So a smoothie is is on that list, for me at least. I've always, you know, been like, oh man, like, if only I could make a freaking smoothie that, you know, was the best, I'd never have to leave the house. Well, guess what? I ain't leaving the freaking house anymore. Step number one to a good smoothie is you need a blender. You have to have a blender. What do we have here? We have the Ninja. Now, the Ninja's a nice one. They make smaller ones and make bigger ones. This is a medium-sized one, but this is a good one, okay? Best part about this is, look, if you have kids in the house or dogs that get up and, and push things, they, they can't turn it on unless you initiate it. Now, we'll talk about that in a second. Now, the most important thing, geez, so the most important thing for a good smoothie is good ingredients. Now, what do we have here? Oh, let me tell you what we have here. We have frozen pineapple. Frozen pineapple. Okay, so then this, okay, so then this is frozen mango. Frozen mango. Frozen strawberry. Orange chicken. Wait, no. Okay, this is definitely for something else. Now, this may seem weird, it may look weird, and it is weird. I have a frozen banana. Now I know what you're thinking. It's weird, but it's a necessity. Okay, hang on, I don't know what to do with my hands. I don't know what to do with my hands. I need to put the banana down, but I can't. I need to put the camera down, but I can't. I don't know what to do with my hands. I don't know what to do with my hands. I'm gonna put the camera down now. All right, and last but not least, you need a good base coat. Now, you can use yogurt, but if you do, don't use too much yogurt, or else it makes it like fluffier than you want, and then you risk your blender exploding. What I find works is almond silk milk, unsweetened. You can use anything. You can use regular milk, you can use 2%, 1%, 10%, 55%, 99%. I don't care what kind of percent you use or what kind of milk you use, but I would use milk. Okay, so now you have your ingredients. Wait, let me, hang on, I, gotta, I guess it doesn't matter. There, you have your ingredients. Frickin', that's a frick, that's a frozen banana. Hang on, I got all like, I'm gonna, here guys, look. I'm gonna, here, I'll make this. I'll make this better for you guys. Just give me one second. Okay, this is more like BuzzFeed, so I think that it's better and easier to see what I'm doing. Okay, I'm gonna do the things now. Okay, we have our frozen straw. Wait, what's happening? Oh, the leg popped off of the tripod. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay, take two. We have our frozen strawberries, our frozen mangoes, our frozen pineapple, our one cup of almond milk, and our frozen banana right here. We also have our blender right here. Now, we are gonna keep this in. I do not know why I took that out. You're gonna put in frozen banana, break that thing up. We're gonna do our mangoes, strawberries, pineapple. And last but not least, all right, I'm gonna pop this top back on. Now, you remember earlier when we talked about the blender? This is when we use the blender. You're gonna to wanna to pop this right back on here. You're gonna to wanna to initiate the thrust boosters. Let's try this again. You're gonna pop this right on here. You're gonna initiate the thrust boosters. Engage. Now, when you see lights, you're good. If you don't see lights, initiate thrust booster again. Now, all you gotta do is one important thing. You can't mess this up. If you do, watch this vlog again. There's a button that says start, stop. I want you to hit the start. Well, it's the same button, so I want you to hit this button and go. Play jazz music on Spotify. I said play jazz music on Spotify. Okay. Look, nobody's perfect, 
So neither is your blender. Usually on the first try, you're not gonna get it because things get things get stuck. You know what I mean? Like look. So you gotta go back in and you just gotta kinda break it up a little bit, you know? Put it back in. Don't be scared. So real quick too, if you're saying to yourself, yo, what's with the frozen fruits? Cause ice makes it more like a slushy. And the point of this is to make a smoothie. That's one of the things I've been getting wrong my entire life. You gotta freeze your fruit. Okay, here we go. Okay, so when it stops, that means it's completely done. Pop the top off, walk it over. Oh nice, conveniently placed cups and straws. We're gonna take this out. We're gonna do a one-handed pour. Okay, that's not gonna work very well, huh? Now I know, oh, now I know what you guys are thinking. You're saying, Dane, you aren't gonna quite possibly drink two smoothies right now, are you? And unfortunately the answer is no, because Amy's almost home, so I'm gonna surprise her with one of the best smoothies she's ever had in her life. Okay, now, the straws. And in this particular case, I use two straws, because if you use two straws, you get twice the fun. So now I give you the best smoothie you've ever had in your life. This is really good. You should make these. Do it. You don't need to do the same fruit I did, but you gotta freeze it. Bananas are a good base coat. Mm, it's so good, I'm frustrated now. Amy, where are you? Are you home yet? You get a smoothie. So what's going on, guys? So it was raining this morning in Los Angeles, and now it's really hot, and now I'm sweating, and it's like uh, almost 6, uh, 6 p.m., so that's cool, right? So it's, uh, it's August 1st, so today is Key Warren's Three year anniversary, which is awesome. Uh, I'm gonna try to change it up a bit with Key. You know, some different products and like just some different, you know, like fresh new ideas, new things and, and all that. So so keep 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 up on that. If you go to our Instagram and like look at stuff, you're like, oh, I'll just keep looking at stuff. So yeah, so cool things are gonna come uh, the rest of this year and next year for Key. So I'm stoked on that. I have another business creative venture that I'm starting soon, and I'm not gonna say anything about it yet, but I'm gonna talk about it when the ball gets rolling on it. Mm. I've been doing some other projects recently for uh, other people and businesses, and that's been fun. Uh, you know, just trying to do way too many things than I can handle, and in doing that, I feel like I'm, you know, trying to, I'm getting, I'm getting somewhere. This vlog isn't, like a travel vlog like a lot of mine have been recently. This is more of like an update vlog. I think I'm gonna start doing this more. I think I said that on the last one too. I'm gonna sprinkle these in here and there. Cause you know, I can't, you know, just be traveling all the time and vlogging, I guess. Even though that's kinda, you know, ultimately what would be freaking rad all the time to do. So maybe one day, but not now. So I'm not doing that now. And I think Amy's back now. Hey. And the blue apron. This would be the best movie you've ever had in your entire life. Why? Are we, what did you do to it? I made it. She likes it's it. It's so good. It's really good. It's the best one she's ever had too. She just hasn't said it yet. Mmm. <clears throat> um. Oh, awesome. Blue apron. Thank you guys so much for the uh, for the free meals for the three free meals. I really appreciate you guys sending this to us as our sponsor. Make sure you guys log into blueapron.com and type in the keyword uh, Blue Apron. Appreciate it, it's really good. I'm excited to eat my, my steak chop suey tonight. What else? So, oh yeah, I recently uh, acquired 15 pairs of boots. They're cowboy boots. Um, just kinda got, you know, in other news, uh, we finally got our Burning Man tickets, which is like the best news, because we didn't know when we were gonna get them, how we were gonna get them, what we were gonna pay to get them, and we finally got them, and we locked them in, and we got an RV, so that's happening, and you'll definitely see that uh, in a vlog in the future. 
Uh, we're going to Palm Springs next weekend. We're going uh, river rafting after that. So those travel vlogs will be back. If you're here because the El Diablo video, I appreciate you. I want you to know that this is not a motorcycle vlog but every once in a while, it can be. If you go back to a different vlog, you can watch me drop a motorcycle, so that's fun. All right, so I'm gonna make a video to uh, submit to try to get in the Fantasy Footballers Listener League tonight. It's gonna be ridiculous, and Amy's gonna be really pissed off at all the things that I have to move around the apartment and all the ridiculous uh, things that I set up, and I'm gonna have a full beard on, and uh, it's gonna be really silly. So I'm about done with the best smoothie I've ever had in my life. Uh, try hard in school, and if you aren't in school, try hard in life. And if you aren't in, well, now we're getting deep. And uh, make sure you log on to blueapron.com, and when you go on there, put in the access code Dane loves Blue Apron, and they'll give you the Blue Apron stuff they gave me. They might have me send it to you, so I'm gonna I might have to portion this one out, send you guys different portions of this. So I'll need to know in the next like. 30 minutes, maybe 20 minutes, because we're probably gonna start making them, so. All right, you guys, I am gonna post a montage of things that I've been working on lately, and the thing that I'm doing tonight, the fantasy footballers thing, and just a bunch of, I don't even, you know what, whatever. I'm just gonna, here, enjoy this next minute of whatever I feel like in life right now. Do you remember the time you forced me to cut my hair? Oh, let's start over again. I got the voice wrong. Okay, well, uh, thanks for joining us, guys. So good to see ya! That was terrible. He's not f***ing Irish. Not the bees! Ah! I love my eyes! Ah! Hi, I'm looking for Ray Finkel. And a clean pair of shorts. You gotta tear me apart, Lisa! Maybe you ought to just take some early retirement right now. Just let me go out there, let me get one wave before you take me. One wave. My nipples look like milk duds. Welcome to the Fantasy Footballers Podcast. Andy, Mike, Jason in the building. No Jay Green. So good to see you. Quick question today is who is our favorite fantasy opponent in our uh, great pool of friends? 